Okay, today's unscheduled fun is courtesy of my children, who decided it would be fun to stand on a drawer on a captain-style bed, and now you should do this to the hinges. I mean, this was a flat hinge, originally looked almost like this. This is one I've already fixed, and both of them were bent like this, and completely jammed the drawer, half broke the bed trying to get it out of there so I could even do a fix in the first place because there was just no way to remove it gracefully. But I managed to fix one, and even though, yes, you can kind of, you can replace hinges, I mean, that's another job, it's also money, and these work fine if I can straighten them out. Now, actually, I can, because I've done it on one. So, let's take a look on the second one, on what that's going to require. And the main tools I'm going to use are this, channel lock, light hammer, heavy hammer, and this piece of wood, which acts as a nice template, because it just kind of sort of fits in there. So, let's get on it. Sheet metal work of any kind, including pressed metal like this, is all about being gentle. You don't want to try and bend the whole thing back in place in one shot. I mean, the metal is most likely stretched around some of these bends, and so they're going to have to be worked out gently in order to get them back into a usable state. But the first thing I want to look at here is how much of this can I straighten out by simply just putting it between the jaws of this ordinary bench vise and gently squeezing. And some, I mean, I'm seeing a little bit of a twist come out of it. But the other problem is you can kind of see that it's bent around a curve there and that curve is going to have to come out of it at the same time the twist comes out. So now let's just try seeing if what happens if I do this. A little more, but it's still going to take some work. Do that a bit. That's helping. I think on this one here, I'm going to want to just do kind of like this. And just kind of work it. Okay, that's, that's something. I mean, it's almost straight again, but they're still, yeah. This one here, thankfully, isn't is quite as torn up as the other one here. The other one over here, this whole ear was wrinkled and bent, so that was a little bit more of a trick. But this one here, as long as we can get this rail straight, it should be a fairly easy job. perfect but that's about as good as it's gonna get so now both of those are repaired and since the wheels didn't break up and whatever took place I should be able to reinstall those now and have a drawer that works again I don't like installing hinges with staples but that's how it was done originally and we're going into some fairly soft wood so if I screw it in it's kind of a 50 50 chance whether the next time someone damages it this way does it pop out or does it just plain destroy the wood so I'm going to break out the staple gun again and hopefully that'll fix it. At this point the main thing is to remember which side goes up and in this case this roller goes up because except that roller needs to be in the front because that's where they interface with each other. So.
could have gone with a couple more. It would have been a little bit firmer, but I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So, time to do the other side. Should be able to reinstall the drawer now. Could remove these completely and just straighten those out fully but i don't think it's going to make much difference at this point if they wreck these again there's a good chance i will have to actually replace the entire assembly but for now we'll work with them well that should do it Door is basically working again, and that's what we need. Has anyone seen my phone?